Well, let's jump into it then. Oh, there we go. Let's okay. Where when all else fails, religion sells. Uh, <laughs> give me Psalm 96 and verse 5. Y'all officers tag team us. Uh, help, help me tag team on this. Jump on this, you know, this subject, please. Chime in whenever you feel the spirit moves you. Chime in. The book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 5. Bring it out. For all the gods of the nations are idols. So all the gods of the nations are idols. Understand something. When the Most High made the heaven and earth, right, and he made all the nations on the earth and then he made a chosen people, he gave, uh, he gave himself to us. We are his chosen people, the children of Israel, right? The Lord said he only speaking to us. He raised up our sons for Nazarite, our sons for prophets, no other nation on the planet earth. So by default, those other nations are going to now do what? They're going to create their own God, right, to go against our God. And in some instances, they're going to try to steal our God and say he for everybody, or at least he's for them exclusively. But we know that ain't the truth. Read that again. For all the gods of the nations are idols. All the gods of the other nations are idols. They're not real gods. You understand that? Now, to, to prove that, go to Deuteronomy chapter 4. Bring when the Most High gave uh, Moses the understanding of idolatry. One of, one of the instances where he gave Moses the understanding of idolatry. Read that for me. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4. Uh, yeah, you start at 17. Verse 17. Start at 16. Verse 16. Let ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, uh -huh. the likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air, Okay. the likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. Okay. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. So you lift your eyes up to heaven, right? Go ahead. And when thou seest the sun. You see the sun. And the moon. And the moon. And the stars. And the stars. Even all the host of heaven shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God hath divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. So when the Lord created these things, he created them for the children of Israel. But now the other nations see these things and they worship it. They see the sun. They say, yeah, that's God. They see the moon. They say, oh, no, that's God. They see the stars. They say, that's God. They see the heavens. They say, that's God. They see the water. They say, yeah, Poseidon rules that, right? Greek mythology, Mount Olympus, Aphrodite is the goddess of love and war. You understand? Hermes, right? The messenger of God. You understand? All these, these are idols that they have, um, uh, constructed or fabricated in their minds. But God told the children of Israel from the beginning, this way it come from. I gave it to them to do this because I'm not their God. You understand? Now, I had an article. <clears throat> it says uh, nature worship. It says nature worship, celestial phenomena. It's one of the last articles that I posted. Yes. Let's zoom in on this. All right, uh, yeah, come up. This is Britannica. All right, read that. Celestial phenomena as objects of worship or veneration. The sun, generally, the sun is worshipped more in colder regions and the moon in warm regions. Also, the sun is usually considered as male and the moon as female. Mm. Exceptions to these generalizations, however, are notable. The prevalent worship of the sun in hot, arid, ancient Egypt and in parts of Western Asia. The conception of the moon as a man who frequently is believed to be the cause of ministration oh, among, God. among many hunting and gathering societies, as well as certain pastoral and royal cultures of Africa. Go ahead. And the conception of the female sun ruling northern Eurasia 
eastward to Japan and parts of North America. So they, they, they all confused. Right. They messed up in the head. They like, man, you know, uh, you know, some of us worship the sun, some of us worship the moon, some of us feel like the moon is a man and the sun is a woman, some of us feel like the sun is a man and the moon is a woman. They all confused. These are the nations. Notice the areas. It said Africa, Egypt, Japan, right? Uh, some parts of North America even. Go ahead. In many state cults of ancient civilizations, the sun plays a special role, particularly where it has replaced an old god of heaven. See that? I told you. Where it had replaced an old god of heaven. So there was a god that, I guess, died or fell, and the sun replaced it. Right? Go ahead. That's what they're saying. This is, this is mythology. This is um, what they call it. Uh, when um, It's not, I want to say theology, because theology is mostly pres prescribed to Christianity, but it is, it's, a, it's a theory. That's basically what it is. It's a, basically a theory, something you can't prove, a philosophy, something you cannot prove. It's just something you believe. Right? Go ahead. Ergo, Egypt, Ethiopia, South India, and the Andes, and especially where it is viewed as a marker of time. It's reviewed as a marker of time. Go ahead. The sun as the center of a state religion. In Africa, ancient Egypt was the main center from which solar deity concepts emanated. So that comes from ancient Egypt, right? Now, remember we just read in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter uh, 4, verse 19, it says, Unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the host of heaven should it be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God have divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. So we just read in that ancient Egypt is where this originated, this solar religion, these solar deities, right? Go ahead. The solar religion promoted by the state was concerned with the sun god Re, mm. Atumri, Amonri, and Chinumri, the sun falcon Horus, the scarab Chipri, and a, and a divine kingdom that was determined by the sun. Uh, Pharaoh Agnatans. Pharaoh Agnatans. Solo monotheism, circa 1350 BCE. The sun religion reached by way of Miro, a sun sanctuary until the 6th century CE, and the upper Nile, as far as western Ethiopia. The Higo cult in Kifa, and the sun kings in Limu and Nigeria. In Asia, the sun cult culminated in the religion of Mithra of Persia. Mithra was transported by Roman legionnaires to Western Europe and became the unconquerable sun. You see how, you see how these nations, they just adopt religion from each other. They go, okay, well, we're going to take it and we're going to call it um, the unconquerable sun. Well, we're going to keep it, we're going to call it the religion of Mithra. We're going to call it Agnadon or Ra. You understand Well, Agnadon was actually a, a king of Pharaoh, but... We gonna call it raw, so on and so forth. Go ahead. I been say Christianity got it in the background with uh, Caesar Bogel. Exactly. Every time you see him throwing their gang sign up, the sun behind him. Yep. I wonder why. Mm. Yep. It's all a deity. It's all because they don't have a god. So since these nations don't have a god, then what do they have to do? They have to fabricate merchandise, books. You understand that? Uh, websites, movies, television shows to get you to worship these idols because they don't have a god. The god of Israel isn't theirs. So they're against him. They hate him because he didn't choose them. So now they have fabricated these false religions, and, you're, you, and many of our brothers and sisters caught up in it, and they're against their book. You're against your God who only gave you to himself, and you're going after the gods of these nations that cannot be proven. There's, there's no proof that there was a sun god named Ra, right? The Most High God had darkness fall upon Egypt, and Ra couldn't do nothing. You know why? Because Ra ain't real. You understand? Not, Horus isn't real. These idols aren't real. Zobek, right? Um, what's the other one? Uh, Hecate. Or what, what's the other one? It's a whole bunch of idols. Beelzebub. All these. No, you're just nasty. You got flies flying around you. They ain't, oh, they ain't you being uh, worshipped by Beelzebub. You stink. You need to take a bath. Take a shower. Damn. That's not a god, okay? Damn. That's, that's an idol. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. You finish that? Go back real quick. Yeah. And became the unconquerable son of, of the Roman military emperor. See that? It's, it, go ahead, man. In Japan, the imperial deity in the state Shinto as Amaterasu, the sun goddess from whom Jimu Tano, the first human emperor, descended 
in Indonesia, where the descent of the princess from the sun also is a feature. The sun often replaces the deity of heaven as a partner of the earth. See that? <laughs> it, they, so, it, wait, hold on, you got to read that part again. The sun often replaces. Yes. The sun often replaces the deity of heaven as a partner of the earth. So, it says that the sun replaces the deity of the heaven as being a partner to the earth. Oh, <sighs> you, you had something? Give me uh, 2nd Edge 6 and 54, and then I want Genesis 1. Think, think. Why would, it, why would uh, you need a deity to be the equivalent or the partner to the earth when the sun wasn't made for that, nor was the earth made for that? What was the earth made for? Can we read that? The book of 2nd Edge, chapter 6 and verse 54. Read it out. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Uh-huh. Of him come we all. So we all come from Adam. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Go ahead, meaning who? The Israelites. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Read. Because thou madest the world for our sakes. Who did he make the world for? For our sakes. He made the world for the Israelites. This is Ezra speaking. Ezra was an Israelite. He was a Levite. You understand? For the tribe of Levi. So he's saying what? Lord, you made the world for our sakes. Meaning what? For our um, benefit for our profit. It was made for the children of Israel. The sun is not a partner to the earth in some type of philosophical, uh, mythological um, sex partner or some crap like they're trying to make. Like they was husband and wife or something. That ain't the way it was. That's not what it's about. Dang. The earth was made for us. The waters, the oceans, the animals, the food, the people. That's right. It was made for the children of Israel according to the Bible. Now, give me Genesis 1. And read verse 14. The book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. Read it out. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven uh -huh. to divide the day from the night. Go ahead. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. So the, these lights are for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now I want you to hold that for me for one second. Give me the scripture in Sirach 43 where it talks about um, the moon was made for feasts. Did you read that for me? Second Edges chapter 40, I mean, excuse me, Sirach 43 in verse 6. This off the top because I ain't had this written. Bear the book me. of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and verse 6. Bring it out. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times. And a sign of the world. Go ahead. From the moon is the sign of feast. Stop. The moon was created to give light on the earth at night. And the sun was made to give light on the earth during the day. Right? They have the same office but in two different sections of the day. Correct? Or the 24-hour the, the period. 12 hours in the day, 12 hours in the night. So now we read earlier in Genesis chapter 1. They were, they were made for signs and seasons and times and days and years. Now we're reading, the moon is a sign of feasts. Whose feasts? Now what you got to ask yourself, whose right, feasts right. were these, the, was this, the moon created for? It was created for the feast of the children of Israel. The, That's feast, the right. feast of the Lord that he gave to the children of Israel for us to celebrate. So if it wasn't for us being on this earth, on this earth would there be a, a need for that moon? Would there be a need for the ocean, the water, the, the what they call the plate tectonics, the volcanoes, Hell the birds, no. the fish? You understand dinosaurs in the, during that time? I'm, I'm just I'm asking. Would there be any need for any of those things if it wasn't for the children of Israel being on the planet Earth? No. No sir. There wouldn't be. So now we're taking those things that that worship us or that were created to serve us. Now. We allowed the other nations to convince us to worship those things. And those things are here for our benefit. It makes absolutely no sense. Right. This is the, um, this is the indoctrination of religion. Go ahead. One of y'all has some? Go ahead. I'm going to pull the scripts. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, read Jeremiah 31, verse 35 to, to, to turn it back off the, cap, off the captain's point about yep. these things was put here for us on earth. That's as right. As you spoke of, read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, and verse 35. Bring it out. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day. Right. And the ordinance 
ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. So we just read that in Sirach. Everything has its purpose that the Lord may read. Which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. Uh -huh. The Lord of hosts is his name. Read. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, uh -huh. then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Why? Because like the captain said, like you said, Cap, it was made for us. Right. So the Lord is saying, if the seed of Israel depart from me, there's no more need of the sun, of the moon, of the star. There's no more need of them because the children of Israel aren't here anymore. Right. That's exactly that. right. No, that's 100% fact. That's what we just reading right now in, in Edris, or we read in Genesis. Then we go to Deuteronomy chapter 4. The Lord said, well, check it out, though. They going to worship those things. Y'all don't worship that. Because that's here to serve you. They don't have that type of level of wisdom. Nor do I care for them in the way that I care for you. I love you. I only put them on the earth to serve you. You understand? All the nations on the earth are basically a pawn in a chess game. They're just pawns. You are the Israelites. You are the ones that God chose, that God is, is set, has set this earth up for you to be able to rule it. This was set for us under his son, Jesus Christ. It's all for, for, for the Lord's glory, first and foremost, and to exalt his son. It ain't for us in that to be worshipped or to be uh, idolized in that regard. It's for them. It's for the Most High first, then his son, then he's going to allow us to rule with his son for a thousand years and then for all eternity after that for those of us that are able to make the first resurrection and for those of us that are found worthy, right? And our children and children and children, because you, you know you got, you got kids. You're going to have millions in the kingdom. Millions. Right. Easy. Millions of kids. This is my lineage right here. All them kings, all them kings, them all me. This is my sons right there. You understand? They're my daughters and princesses. That's the way the Most High God is set up. But first and foremost now, you got the children of Israel who he set these things up for, worshiping the things that he set up for them. It makes no sense. But that's the trick that they've done to our minds through idolatry, man. Right? Go back to Genesis 1. Finish it. The book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons mm -hmm. and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And God made two great lights, the great light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So he made the stars too, go ahead. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven. And he set them in the firmament of the heaven. That wasn't set up there because it was no fallen God. The Most High set it up there to give light on the earth. Go ahead. To give light upon the earth. Read. And to rule over the day and over, and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And God said, I like this. This is good right here. This is going to work. Keep it just like that. Don't move it. Now man is trying to alter it. No, no. See, no, man. See, that's God, actually. See, you say the son of God. See, it's not son. It's O-N, brother. It's son. S-U-N, brother. It's the son. That's, ah! who, that's Jesus. That's God. Oh, God. Just please spare, spare me the details. Dang. I don't stop being a damn fool. Thank you. Please stop. I just, I don't want to hear the rant, okay? I don't want to hear you ran off and with stuff you don't know anything about. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 4, I mean chapter 8. Ezekiel 8, uh, six, start at 14. The book of Ezekiel chapter 8 and verse 14. Bring it out. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there said women weeping for Tammuz. There said women weeping for Tammuz. Tammuz, Tammuz. Remember that name? Then said he unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. Mm. So he said, Now, you're going to have women weeping for Tammuz. The children of Israel, you had uh, daughters of Israel. You know, the, 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 the black woman loved to grab a religion. And then, oh my God, Tammuz. You understand? That's exactly what was going on during that time. They was worshiping the idol Tammuz and his mother and everything else that had anything to do with it. I'm going to show you. Go ahead. And he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house. All right. And behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, 
with their backs toward the temple of the Lord uh -huh. and their faces toward the east. Go ahead. And they worship the sun toward the east. And they worship the sun towards the east. Read. Then he said unto me, has thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here. What did God call the worshiping of Tammuz and the worshiping of the sun for the children of Judah? That they commit the abominations which they commit here. The Bible says those are abominations. You catch yourself worshiping Tammuz. And, when, and I'm going to show you what the equivalent of Tammuz is today because some of you, 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 ain't, you ain't been taught, you're not thinking. Especially you, you Northern Kingdom brothers and sisters, you so-called Hispanics. Many of you grew up worshiping the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. You don't know what you're worshiping. You think you're worshiping uh, Mother Mary and the baby Jesus, which you shouldn't be, by the way. That's what you think you're doing, but you're actually worshiping Tammuz and his mother. I'm going to show you that. Can you pull up the Tammuz for me on the Britannica? And then we're going to deal with that son. Because you think you're worshiping God. You're not. You got that for me. I just posted it. It's the last thing I posted it. It's Tammuz. It's um, on the Encyclopedia Britannica. All right, let's look at this. Tammuz, Mesopotamian god. Tammuz, Sumerian, Dumuzi, and Mesopotamian religion. God of fertility, embodying the powers for a new life in nature in the spring. Mm -hmm. The name Tammuz seems to have been derived from the Akkadian form of Tammuzi, based on early Sumerian Damuzi, the flawless young, which in later standard Sumerian became Dumuzi, or Dumuzi, the earliest known mention of Tammuz in texts dating to the early part of early dynastic, the third period, circa 2600 to 2334 BCE. Go ahead. But his cult probably was much older. So stop there. Go down. I want to see if it's going to show his mother's name. So Tammuz, this is an ancient Mesopotamian god. Mesopotamian god. Mesopotamian god. Right? So go down. I'm going to see if they're going to mention his mother. Uh, ba, 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 let me see. Damn, look, it spread to Assyria, amongst the Sabians. Keep going. The cult of Tammuz. Ah, there we go. Read that. The cult of Tammuz centered around two early festivals, one celebrating his marriage to the goddess Inanna, the other lamenting his death at the hands of demons from the netherworld. So, <laughs> so apparently... He died from the hands of demons from the netherworld. Huh? Oh. Keep going down. Go, hey, go. Uh, I don't know if it's going gonna, it's gonna to mention it here. Go ahead. Say, Cal, I was asking. It, it, no, no, that's his, that's Semiramis. So that's all that's, that, right? That's Semiramis. Yeah, that's, that's his the, mama, That's man. the mother of heaven. That's his mother. That's his mama. So they got you out here worshiping a religion where a, a dead child that was killed by demons was in a, a, a sexual relationship with his mama. And it was a baby. Right. That like, Tammuz died as a baby. Right. What? <laughs> That's why they keep the, the, the mother, uh, Mother Mary with the little baby Jesus. That's why mm -hmm. they keep that, because Tammuz was a baby when he died. It wasn't, he wasn't a grown man. So she was married to an infant. She a pedophile. Can you huh? some on that? that yeah. What you just said? Wisdom of Solomon 14, 15, real quick. This is crazy. This is what uh, the same regurgitated religion, just with different faces, yep. different skin tones, different quote unquote meanings. It really ain't no different meaning. It's the same thing. Every time you celebrate Christmas, you go to your grandma's house. Every time you do Easter and all that different stuff, you doing this. You worshiping Tammuz and all them. But watch what the Bible say. Read that. The book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 15. Read it out. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, Read. when he hath made an image of his child soon taken away. An image of his child soon taken away. Tammuz died as a child, as an infant. Right? Read. Now honored him as a god. Now honored him as a god. Now like we read in Ezekiel, the sisters weeping for Tammuz. Same thing you see when you see the little baby white Jesus, sisters weeping for Tammuz. They honor him as a god, right? Which was then a dead man. But he wasn't nothing but a dead baby. They done turned that into a god and despised the god of heaven and earth, the true god of heaven and earth and his son, Jesus the Christ. Read. And delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. Now fast forward to 2021. Watch what happened. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Thus in the process of time, uh -huh. an ungodly custom grown strong Read. was kept as a law 
and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And now you worship this every single year, day in and day out. And then when the prophet try to say something to you about it, it's a problem. You have no scriptural reference, no nothing to show that what you're doing is correct or valid in the eyes of God. Because it's an ungodly custom, custom grown strong. That's like, this the plantation. Those false religions, that's the plantation you want. We need to escape that thing. I'll pray. That's it. So Semiramis is the queen of Babylon who named her son Tammuz, right? Or what you said, Demuzi. That's what it said earlier also. That's who that was. That was Sir, um, Ceramis. Sir, that was his mother. She's also known as the queen of Babylon, the queen of heaven, Inanna, all these things. That was his mother who apparently killed her husband, um, Nimrod. What the hell is this? And this is an illegitimate child by Nimrod. When you look in uh, ancient Egyptian theology or ancient Dip Egyptian mythology, it says that it's, it's, it's the same people. It's um, Isis, Osiris, and uh, Horus, I believe. Mm -hmm. And Horus was the father. Osiris was the son. But Osiris was born, and I could be wrong. I'm, I don't, as a matter of fact, let me just get it right because I don't want to. Give it to me. Give me one second. Go ahead. Somebody say something. Oh, pray you got it. No, I was oh, just say, I remember a fool at camp one time. Uh, what we was at when the brother was on that Egyptology stuff. Uh -huh. I think we was in Greenville, Greenwood. The brother was like Israel mean it stand for Isis, Ra, and El. Oh God, you remember that? Huh? Yeah. Dude, crazy man. That Egyptology got y'all bugged out, man. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Go ahead, officer. Uh, yeah. Adonis, you had something. No, go ahead. I'm gonna pull the script. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go to uh, Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one and verse. Start at verse twenty-five. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 25. Bring it who up. changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. And that's what you see going on here. That was when we was uh when we was coming out of Egypt. What did we do? We worship a golden calf. The calf was meant for us to do what? To eat. Right. <laughs> but now we we uh made a gold cap, and we worship that thing. We worship the creature more than the creator of the creature. Read it again. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. So, Amen. So that's, that's what we do. We, we have the creator of heaven and earth, but we decide to, to worship other things, uh, worship animals, worship, yep. worship people. That's supposed to be serving us. That's right. Damn. Hey, so I was right. It was Isis and Horus. They had Osiris. But they had it after, <laughs> after Horus had died. Right? So uh, I'm trying to get the full understanding. Now, I did post something. Could you pull that picture up real quick? Yeah, pull that picture up for me. That right there. See that? Damn. That that <laughs> he played that. <laughs> hey, play that again, bro. Damn. <laughs> I remember hearing that in the mixtape when I was a kid. That's why it's funny. But so this is um, that's supposed to be Isis or Inanna or Ceramesis, um, and the baby is supposed to be uh, Osiris or. In, in, Christian, in Christian theology, it's supposed to be baby Jesus and Tammuz, right? The, the boy king, right? That died. You understand? That's where that all come from. So now, let's go from there real quick. Go to um, the video of, of the brother Polite. Real in him right now. Brother Polite, let's pull that up real quick. It's a video of him shooting the Bible. What? This is what these idols do to you. What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. Pull that up for us, please. Yeah, play that. That's what you're telling us when you tell us that somebody gonna come out the sky. That's an evil. Stop till the Bible's destroyed. You see that book falling, that Bible falling in the background? <laughs> Great shooting, me soon. Hold on, can't see the, the rest of the sentence. Too much fucking holes in it. Look at that shit. 
That's right. Now it's the Holy Bible. That's right. <laughs> Clearly the Holy Bible right now. Act like y'all never seen this before. We saw this February 8th. It's just gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse. Look what we did. The Bible or the bullet. Pause. So, so right now he going through a rape case, right? Wow. Apparently. And it, and it, anybody that come against this Bible and try to mock it, and I don't know if he gonna get off on it. I don't know what. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I really don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Because the brother could repent from that evil. But I'm just saying, like, when you see stuff like that, you gotta ask yourself, where that hatred come from? Where the hatred for the Bible come from? He just said that we disrespecting people by saying it's a savior coming from the sky. But Negro, you worship Ra. Right. He from the sky, so apparently. He the sun god. You know, I don't understand. You mad at God, you mad at the Bible because you had no understanding of it. But let me show you the bigger plot behind all this. Pull up those pictures from his website. It's some now, pictures from his website. Go ahead. Isn't that the same dude that was uh, doing the interview with Amalek? Yeah. That's the same dude, and he was talking about it's, it's uh, Israelites on the corners reading stuff out the Bible that uh, y'all can't, can't even touch. So, and now he's shooting the Bible now up. He sh yeah, but I think he shot the Bible up before that interview. Mm. But, but, still, at, but still, like you said, at the end of the day, so I want you to zoom in on this. Zoom in on this for me. You can take us down. This is on his website. This is his, um, his, his books that he sell, Right? What is your polit political legal disposition? Buy the house. These are all books that he's selling on his website. Finance or fiance. Head of the crown. Go ahead. These are all books. $35, $40. Zoom in. Go ahead. UCC and real estate course, $120. I taught them how to buy a dollar with a few pennies, $50. Gold in the Crisis, book bundle only, course not included. Gold in the Crisis, $150. Next one. Supreme Mathematics, $40. Communicating with the heavens and its hosts. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. Hold up. You said it was, it, up. it was an issue with a God coming from heaven or having connection with a God in heaven. That was an issue. That's why you shot the Bible up. But you selling the book. Saying communicating with the heaven and his host. You see what I'm saying? Why ain't he, like, shoot, why ain't he shoot that book up? Right, I but that's what because he's gonna make money off of it. <laughs> that's how he get his bread. I'm telling right, you, religion right. sells. Damn. You 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 pull people into believing in something that's false, also you can sell your merchandise. Mm. And the Bible gets in the way of your merchandise because the Bible goes against Egyptian philosophy, Egyptian mythology. The Bible is against all that crap. So they said, man, this, this Bible is in the way of my money. Let me shoot it up. Let me try to get people not to believe in it. Now, let me show you the same spirit was in these brothers in Acts chapter 19. Read Acts 19 for me. Bring it up. Same spirit was in the brothers in the book of Acts, the 19th chapter. Then we're going to go to Wisdom of Solomon. And y'all dive in there. Acts chapter 19, I want you to read verse 23. The book of Acts chapter... No, matter of fact, I want you to read... Damn, this is a good chapter right here. I'll praise to the Most High. I want you to read verse 17. The book of Acts, chapter 19, verse 17. Bring it up. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. Ephesus, Greek. And fear fell on them all. And the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. So it was some brothers that was the seven sons of Sceva thought that they were exorcists. And they thought that they could cast out demons in the name of Christ. But the demons didn't know them. The demons knew Paul and the demons knew Jesus. So them demons leapt on them. And the brothers beat the brakes off of them. And they ran out of that naked. You understand? And people heard about it. They said, oh, wait a minute. The, it's only one Jesus. It's only one uh, 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 Messiah. You understand? So the word of Jesus was magnified. The word of God was magnified through Christ by the apostles in that area. Now watch this. Read. And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. You hear that? That's what it's about. That's what idolatry is about. Idolatry make you feel comfortable in your sin. These brothers and sisters were convicted by what they saw, right? They was convicted by what they saw. And what did they say? Look, we need to confess our sin. We in the midst of sin. That's the only way to get the Holy Spirit. It's the only way to get the understanding. But guess what? When you want multiple wives, when you want to mess with little girls, not saying that he did that. I'm just talking out in general because a lot of those brothers, like Christian pastors, they mess with little girls. They mess with little boys even. That all come from idolatry. These people right here was convicted by what they saw, what they heard. 
and they confess their deeds. They say, you know what, we need to repent. And that's why a lot of these brothers hold on to, to all this mythology and philosophy so they can stay in sin. Go ahead. Many also of them which use curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men. You hear that? They brought their books together and they burned them before all men. You know why? Because those books don't tell you who you are. Those books don't tell you who the white man is. The books don't tell you how your people got over here in the first place. The, them books don't tell you why you living in the ghettos, foster care, mass incarceration. Them books don't tell you none of that. Only the Bible tell you that. The Bible, the, Bible, the only book tell you why we dying from high blood pressure. The That's Bible right. is the only book. Your doctors, these Edomite doctors and scientists trying to catch up with God. I'm going to show you how. God made a man a man, a woman a woman. The most high just had it come from a sperm cell. And it developed into us. You know, we was all babies at one time. We were little right. bitty babies. Now we all grown men, beards, kids of our own. Only God can do that. The white man can't do that. He can give you surgery when you a baby to try to turn you to a woman. He can't make you grow up and actually be a woman. Right. To have the emotions of a woman. Right. To have the mind of a woman. You understand that? He can't do that. Only God can do that. The natural affection for a man, he can't do that. Only God can, but you trust in him. He ain't God. Them idols ain't God. You trusting in that stuff right there, you're going to be destroyed. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.